Hey, y'all. Okay, I'm sure some of y'all have heard about this already, um, but there's a lot that haven't. Uh, this doctor in Georgia is facing lawsuits uh, for malpractice because <clears throat> she's, okay, she's a cosmetic surgeon, all right? And while she's been performing surgery, this lady has been making music videos to put on YouTube, okay? She's making YouTube videos in the operating room with the patients. I mean, it, it's it's crazy, okay? It's really, um, it's a sad thing that's happened. Um, not only have some of the patients, you know, they're suing because they got such terrible work done to them to where they're deformed uh, physically, you know, um, but then another patient, I don't know, it shows her uh, cutting the patient and singing, cut it, okay, while she's cutting the patient open. And then another one, uh, I don't know exactly what happened, like what, uh, well, I mean, I know what caused her to uh, have brain damage, but... It said she was like having a heart attack while she was getting a tummy tuck and um, it was so much stuff that they had to go through that the lady had she died in in this woman's um, medical office okay or in the um, operating room and I don't it just it's scary you know it's, it's really scary because when we go to the doctor you know you you trust them to give you the right, you know, either the right diagnosis or, you know, you just basically, you know, you, you have to somewhat put some trust into the doctor, you know, so whatever your problem is can get taken care of. Okay. And in this instance, you know, with her being a cosmetic surgeon, I mean, I don't know. It just, it, it really disturbs me a lot because, I mean, I've seen a lot of unprofessional things, but this right here is so, so unprofessional. You know, first of all, you know, if you're going to, yeah, if they record something in the operating room, that's something that needs to be used for educational purposes, you know, for students or whatever. Okay. Not... You know, not singing and dancing and and doing the stuff that she's doing, and then to put it on YouTube. I mean, come on, that's that is just so unprofessional to me. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all this video, and then I'm gonna read y'all an article. This right here says lawsuits alleged dancing doctor was negligent. <clears throat> as she cuts into human flesh. This Atlanta area dermatologist sings and dances for the camera. HLN has obtained video of multiple instances of questionable conduct by Dr. Wendell Vite in the operating room. More than 20 videos like this one were posted to the doctor's public YouTube channel for promotional purposes. They have since been deleted. Patients have taken notice. HLN has found five malpractice lawsuits pending against Boutte. She's reached four settlements. HLN has not found judgments decided against her, but female patients with lawsuits... ...suits claim they've suffered infections, disfigurement, even brain damage following procedures at Boutte's hand. Boutte's office and her attorneys did not respond. So sorry, y'all. It just keeps buffering. For comment. HLN has learned the Georgia Composite Medical Board has had information regarding Boutte's allegedly unsafe practices since at least March.
2016. In an interview with CNN affiliate WSB, the chairman refused to comment directly on Boutte, but said the board does not want to rush to judgment. So Boutte continues to practice. And quite frankly, that's appalling um, that they have had information about Dr. Boutte and her unsafe practices for 26 months. Susan Witt is an attorney, representing three women who claim their lives have been changed by Dr. Boutte. Among them, Isilma Cornelius. She was really excited to start the next chapter in her life. And once that office staff was aware of that, they played upon the fact that she was getting married and she wanted I am so very sorry. It must be the weather here. That doesn't look good in her dress. Two. Two and a half years ago, Cornelius went to Boutte's premier aesthetic center for Botox and other minor cosmetic treatments ahead of her wedding. Why? the office, she agreed to more, a surgical procedure that Boutte said could flatten her stomach. More than eight hours into surgery, Boutte's staff called 911, according to court documents. She is not awake. She is not awake, and she is not breathing. Is that right? Well, they did start CPR um, by the time. that the first responders arrived, um, she was essentially dead. Uh, her pupils were fixed and dilated. Cornelia survived, but suffered for our caretaker. I have to basically help her in the bathroom. I have to brush her teeth. I have to um, prepare her meals, prepare her medication. Of course, changing her clothes. Everything that like we're so used to doing for ourselves, I have to do that for her. Cornelius's case was settled for an undisclosed amount. Former patients tell HLN they bought Boutte's claim that she's Atlanta's leading cosmetic surgeon and her credentials. Medical school at UCLA, residency at Emory, a board-certified dermatologist. But lawsuits claim she's unqualified to do many of the procedures she advertises, even though law in Georgia allows it. If you have a medical license, then there's no restriction on what you can do. Uh, we have seen cases where emergency room physicians have gotten into the cosmetic surgery business. Um, OBGYNs who are... are performing breast augmentations, breast reductions, tummy tucks. Witt says the focus is on Boutte now, but she's not unique. Okay. So, yeah, see, that is so unprofessional. And it's scary. Okay, this article says, Dancing surgeon accused of leaving patient brain damaged. <clears throat> a plastic surgeon who filmed herself singing and dancing around the operating table as she performed procedures was accused of leaving a patient with catastrophic brain damage. Dr. Wendell Davis Boutte uploaded over 20 clips of herself prancing around next to patients while singing along the hip hop tunes. She even sliced someone open for the camera as cut it by OT Genesis blared out in the in the background. Isilma Cornelius, Cornelius suffered heart failure after being pushed into having a pre-wedding tummy tuck at Boutte's Clinic in Lilburn, Georgia. In February 2016, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports. The 55-year-old's heart stopped eight hours into the procedure. 
but Butte's office was not equipped to handle the medical emergency and had to call an ambulance. Paramedics restarted her heart but were delayed in putting her into the ambulance because Butte had to stitch her skin back together to try to prevent her open wounds from getting infected. They hit a further snag when the stretcher wouldn't fit in the elevator, forcing them to carry Cornelius down the stairs. When she finally got to the hospital, doctors diagnosed her with permanent brain damage from lack, lack of oxygen. She was left severely disabled and will requ require care for the rest of her life. Her son, O.J. Liburd, 26, filed a lawsuit against Boutte following the diagnosis. He said she just wanted to be perfect for her wedding dress. She had everything going for her. The case has now been settled for an undisclosed amount. Separately, a pair of sisters, Mitzi McFarlane and Christine Dolly, also filed suit against Boutte after they visited her hoping to have a laser lipo procedure offered on her website but instead they underwent a traditional invasive liposuction procedure and were appalled at the results. McFarland told Georgia TV station, it's more like Freddy Krueger cut my stomach. Dolly added, I don't feel like a normal person, I just feel deformed. Another patient told how she woke up after surgery in a hotel room with a McDonald's sandwich in her hand. Butte, who has five malpractice suits in the last four months, with four more pending, is still working as a cosmetic surgeon. Yeah, that's... Wow. That's crazy. Why would this person right here be in a hotel room? Wow, they must have took the person there and had, um... Did a video like that. That's crazy. Wow. I don't even know. I don't even really know what to say about this. This just got me just so, like, wow. You know, I mean, we hear of a lot of weird things, but I don't know. I mean, to take videos and stuff while you're doing surgery on people, to post on YouTube, like, I don't know. It's just a little crazy, but... Tell me what y'all think about it. Leave your comments and feedback below. If y'all want to send me anything, feel free to do so in my email, or you can add me on Facebook and send me whatever you like through Messenger. Thank you, and y'all have a good night.